Hi friends, today we'll discuss about customer risk. In real scenario, customer is giving business to bank. So customer can uh, open a savings bank current account or FD account. So he'll become a customer for a bank. So bank will do, he'll get the money from the customer and it will lend to another customer. So bank will get a business and uh, they'll get a turnover. They'll get the deposits from the customers and uh, they'll uh, give loans to the other customers. So how come a customer uh, become a risk for a bank? So in modern uh, technology or in metro culture, banker directly not identifying the customer. So customer can be walk-in customer means customer is directly coming to the branch or you have a direct sales agents. They will go and get the some customers or customers can open accounts through internet or with a specific site they can open account. In these scenarios, banks doesn't have any face to face interaction with the customer. So to know about uh, full details of the customer, it is very difficult. So when you are uh, so modern technology, the metro culture, it is very essential to identify the customer risk. Nowadays, you have heard about lot of all about uh, money laundering and terrorist uh, funding. So if your customer is involved in uh, money laundering or uh, terrorist funding, then uh, it is a risk for the bank. So. What is uh, customer risk? It refers to the money laundering and terrorist funding risk associated with the particular client. Client is our customer. Risk is based on the risk perceptions associated with the parameters comprising a customer's profile. So customer profile can be different. He can be an individual or he can have a small business. He can have a uh, travel desk or he can have a uh, mobile uh, shop. So depend on the customer profile and depend on few parameters, we will come out with a customer risk factor. The level of risk associated with the product and the channels being used by him. So some customers, they'll use only savings products. Some customers, they'll use the loans. Some customers, they'll use the internet banking, mobile banking. They'll use the NEFT, RTGS, foreign uh, funds transfer. So our risk also, will be depend on the customer products usage and using of the channels. So after customer risk profiling, customers are to be categorized into low risk, medium risk, high risk based on defined parameters. We have a few parameters. These parameters can be changed from one organization to another organization, one bank to another bank. So I am given a examples. It, it may not be as same as in all organization. It can be differ from one organization to another organization. So what are the parameters? So first one is customer constitution. What type of customer? Whether he is an individual customer or a property business or partnership or he is into private limited. So this is one parameter. And second one will be, okay, whether the client's identity is established beyond the doubt. So you, when you are verifying the identification or address proof, you find any doubt. Second one will be like whether he is, uh, belongs to a low income group or high income group. And uh, fourth is nature of activity, whether he is related to agriculture or small enterprises or uh, is related to service industries, manufacturing industries. And uh, another parameter is like whether he is a retail uh, business, wholesale business or a small scale or large, large scale business, whether the business is located in rural, semi-urban, urban. So these are the parameters. You have another uh, parameter called source of funds. Source of funds means you started a business, whether your uh, own funds you are using for your business or you are taken uh, uh, borrowings, small borrowings, large borrowings from uh, other people. This also gives a customer risk factor, income turnover levels, whether the uh, organization or individuals income is high, medium, low, and what type of uh, country of residence, whether he is an Indian or a foreigner. Okay. And uh, these are the parameters with these parameters, 
we'll we'll put some matrix with that matrix we'll identify whether a customer is a high risk low risk medium risk so i given some examples high risk customers uh, already i mentioned like uh, it is not like same as in all uh, other organization it can be from one organization to another organization every organization will have a kyc customer risk policy depend on the risk these parameters can be changed so in my scenario high risk customers are high net worth individuals non face to face clients like uh, customers uh, opened accounts through internet mobile app so there won't be any face to face clients foreigners nris trust and uh, uh, multi level marketing companies politically exposed persons so these i'll classify as a high risk customers so while onboarding the customer i'll take all the details of the customers depend on my parameters i'll run a engine and i'll find out whether he is a high risk customer or a medium risk or low risk customer okay next we'll discuss about medium risk medium risk customers are providers for telecommunication service or internet cafes are phone centers travel agencies these i'll classify as a medium risk low risk customers salaried employees pensioners whose salary structure are well defined like i know like uh, my salary is this much last 5 years this is my salary another 5 years i can say this much like uh, if you take a bank employee you will have a increments yearly increments so you can define your salary there won't be any huge up and downs okay okay people belongs to lower income group these are low risk customers okay and uh, people have business and they have a small turnover low turnover and uh, small balances Th those will come under low risk customers so people are related to statutory bodies people are working sebi or irda or people are working in uh, government owned companies or departments ongc oil india these are the low risk customers so another category like customer risk based on the turnover if a individual having some business and his turnover is less than 10 lakhs he will be low risk 10 to 15 lakhs 50 lakhs then he is a medium risk customer if his turnover is more than 50 lakhs then he is a high risk customer if the customer is having a business and depend on the turnover if you want to categorize the customer risk then this is the parameter so we have another uh, identification methods uh, to uh, restrict the customers high risk customers or to profiling the customers or due due diligence due diligence means knowing about the customers know about the customer okay so uh, as per my organization policy no account will be open for binami name binami name means uh, i want to open a account on binami name means my uh you can say like uh, is not directly uh, is like my agent so i'll not open a account for binami name and uh, without the due diligence i will not open any account this is my customer acceptance policy so customer identification customer identification can be address proof identification in some scenarios your physical address and whatever you mentioned in the document it is not matching then you can ask for the latest uh, address proof which was uh, uh, taken uh, maybe uh, electricity bill or water bill whatever it may be it should be last 3 months account statement or uh, bill so no account doubt about authority of the customer identification data if customer identification has given from the government of india it may be passport or it may be driving license it is okay if customer doesn't have any these things then he'll produce some other uh, document that you have to verify if you have any doubt about the authority then straight away you can say like customer is risk and uh, customer identification you can ask for an, one more identification so customer due diligence how can you do a due diligence primary kyc will be like your passport driving license aadhar voter if you are not satisfied with primary kyc and uh, customer doesn't have a proper uh, primary kyc document you can go for a secondary kyc document secondary kyc document can be utility bill tax receipt letter from the government authorities so 
once you complete primary or secondary kyc then only your customer due diligence is completed otherwise you want to open a account for a customer thank you friends if you like my video please subscribe and share with your friends